Hi everyone. Today I want to show you how to set your individual grid settings for the Power BI risk matrix. To change the grid settings, we go to format your visual on the right and select grid settings. Here we can change the size of our matrix up to a 10 times 10 matrix by adapting horizontal and vertical size. For example, if I plug in 10 for horizontal and vertical size, the matrix will extend to a 10 times 10 matrix. We can also select a maximum number of risks displayed in one tile. If the number of risks is exceeded, only the number of risks in this tile is displayed and not each individual risk. So for example, if I decrease the maximum number of risks per tile to 5, you can see that in this grid where 9 risks were detected, only the number of risks in this case 9 is displayed and not each individual risk. With the Select by Tiles feature, we can focus on all risks in one specific tile. Thus, if we add a table of our data that interacts with our matrix, only the risks of the respective tile will be displayed. So, if I switch this one off, I cannot select each tile, but if it's switched on, I can only select each tile and only the risks of this tile will be displayed then. Further, we have the option to invert the colors of our risk matrix. And we can also customize our own color layout, which will be explained in another video. Here, with this button, we can just invert our colors of the risk matrix. Here we also have the option to change the border settings by making grid borders visible or not and choosing the width or the colors. So if we select that we do not want to have any border visible, we can just select our feature here and switch it off. We can also adapt the width of our borders by just increasing or decreasing the number of our border width. Further, we can also change the color of our borders if we want to select, for example, a black border color. And of course, we can always in the bottom just reset our settings to default. Finally, we can also select the transparency of the grids, which is really great if we opt to integrate a company logo in the background, for example. In that case, we simply integrate a company image in the background and then adapt the grid transparency. So if I shift the grid transparency here, the grids will be more or less transparent. I hope the video was helpful to you and if you want to know how to set your access settings appropriately, click on the next video. Have a nice day.